first question i remember you saying um in some interview that yeah. you were very surprised that uh, you know you picked ayan as a uh, as a you know dalit <coughs> character but you were surprised that that is one aspect that got the, yeah. highlighted the most yeah. were you really surprised because you know i mean i would if i was writing i would be scared if i was writing a novel today and i if i said anybody was a dalit I would be. I, I would think even some of minor character. I would know that a lot of. Uh, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. The rhetoric would become about that character. Yes. Uh, no. It's, still, I was surprised chiefly because. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the, uh, Iron Money character started off as a male rage, you know. How would a very intelligent person, but a person who is also very unfortunate, you know, look at the world? Uh, so, the the. The novel was supposed to derive its force from this anger of a guy, the restrained, you know, male anger. Um, then I asked myself, what is the, what is this guy's problem? You know, uh, because I really liked him in a way, and I fundamentally do not like people who are just grouchy, you know, who have something bad to say. Unless it's you something really funny. No, then I ask. I was asking now, why do I know this guy so well? I also knew him very well. Okay, I knew exactly how he would be thinking and you know everything. I just knew this guy very well. Then I understood that it was also largely inspired, okay, by the Dalits, the Dalit intellectuals also, you know, uh, whom I've met in Madras, you know, met in Bombay in the course of my work. You know, there is a way in which they look at the modernity of India around them. Oh, so you're saying once you started writing the character, you traced back an influence, and 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 you know you traced back the influence to a lot of people. Yeah, you met who it's were like sometimes you see a person and you feel that you've seen the person somewhere, and Iron Money was something like that. I knew this guy so well, but the only thing I could not figure is like why, why is this guy? Then I. So you figured out later that he's a villain. He has to be because I knew these guys, and I knew that only a historical rage, a historical anger, you know, can create a person like this. And you were not concerned, you know. It reminds me, uh, Pamuk uh, said somewhere, I think, that when Proust writes about love, uh, he writes about love. When I write about love, I write about Turkish love. Yes. You know. So were you not concerned that this rage, this pure male rage, yes. would become Dalit rage? It is not. It is not Dalit. It is a very. Um, no, in the way the novel is read, not. Yes. Not, not in the way it's written. Oh. <coughs> It was a concern because he. On, I'll be very honest with you. If someone told me now this is uh, a novel uh, about a Dalit, uh, uh, about Dalit problems, you know that's how people. You know how people are so yeah, precise yeah, in their description. Yeah. I will not read it. Okay, yeah. it's because I don't want to read a novel about the issues, and I want to read novels about other issues or no issues. Yeah. I don't want to read novels about that issues. You said that yes. You know, Yes, I, absolutely. I don't think this is the space for it, and it is in fact uh, an artifice created by reviewers and book criticism. Okay, where to lend uh, uh, an element of um, social um, uh, phenomenon, okay, to a story. You know, there's nothing wrong with that interpretation. You know, but then there are many things in a novel. A novel is so complex; it's like a personality. When a person says I like this novel, the person is also saying I like an aspect of the author's personality. You, know? sure. you can't separate the two, and that is why it is such a you know such a beautiful thing. It's you also know? why books are so personal. Yes. Because that you know they can take a lot more criticism. Exactly. Where everything else is concerned, but the book is. is exactly. You know? So I was a bit worried. Uh, I mean, I was not worried, but I was. Uh, I it thought. Not be able to escape social. In a way, it would be yeah. presented even when it's uh, presented favorably. Sometimes it sounded like a book I wouldn't want to read, you know. So which is bizarre. You know, you were talking about the, <clears throat> that a lot of people did get the male aspect of it, but there was also the fact that um, the women present in the novel, you know, they exist. Of course, they play an important role. They motivate. They they uh, they link up causally, causally with a lot of stuff that's going on. But that also makes them exist in the context of men. Hmm. Yeah. Are you is is that because you wanted to fix a focus on what you was you were you know essentially hmm. if you were talking about male rage and male dynamics it was a focus point and you you know you left that marginal or are you uncomfortable writing Yeah see there are two things here one is that now the two central characters of the novel are male but most I mean most of what they are doing is for the women in the novel okay so in that sense uh, 
to me it is uh, the, the 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 female presence is always there in the novel but it is in the context of men it is through them i would say it is from the male point of view okay it is like uh, <coughs> you 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 are observing okay it's like men are observing women yeah. okay all the time you know um which to me is not subordinate okay to uh, the male characterization okay i would look at these two things as see without what they are observing there is no characterization at all in the novel of the men you will not understand if you take off everything which relates to the women in the novel you will not understand the men you know in the novel they will have the, just uh, one dimension what gives them the character and the credibility okay is the way they are looking at the women sometimes with malice sometimes with love mostly with love you know and uh, uh, they are not able to resist them even iron man okay where he says that um, um uh, my my home is not as trivial as the world you know because his home matters most to him and he also says that person like iron man he says that uh, there should not be too much rationality between husband and wife you know he he would be practical outside his home but he doesn't want to be practical you know with his wife yes in scenes like this it is through iron man's point of view now there is a technical issue also here because my first draft on the novel i wrote it like a journalist as a feature writer you know so uh, i know how many times i've said this i'm ashamed to say it, but then it is it such it was such a shock to me when i realized i my first draft was a giant book review you know and it was so it broke my heart i thought i have to abandon this already i was when i was 21 i had written on half a novel and i abandoned it because i thought it was too much and it and then i was afraid maybe i have not got it right you know but fortunately on on my own i was just asking myself what is wrong because i never used to read literary theory and then i discovered a very simple aspect of novel writing which is the character's point of view you know what adds depth to your novel okay is that Uh, uh, what makes a character a character okay is the point of view of the character now why i found it beautiful was the the uh, why i found the re- realization beautiful was that as a journalist you have a convenient boundary which is facts you know if there is a if there is a fog you write there is a fog but if there is no fog if you try to you know add a bit of color you're cheating even if nobody finds out it's cheating you can't do that So when a journalist begins to write a novel okay i think uh, the problem is that you want a boundary in a way otherwise you can write anything you know so i realized characterize uh, characterization would lend me with the boundary the boundary is that a character would do a set of things and will not do a set of things you know iron money will never wonder if time moves you know <clears throat> like a straight line okay or like a dotted line okay he would never wonder you know only arvind acharya will wonder so that gave me a certain boundary i'm used to writing within a certain boundary you know uh, because i didn't like I, i don't like magic and i don't i like to me writing is logic you know if there is no logic then there's something wrong with uh, uh, you know writing all metaphors are beautiful because they are logical you know? um so so now writing from a woman's point of view to it's very tricky actually you know because as it is writing a novel even for people who are good at writing a novel is a is a difficult thing you know <clears throat> now oparna i manage because uh, uh, i'm 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 very uh, most of my friends are women you know i get along better with women than than with men you know so i would always listen to a lot of things that they keep telling me which is very funny and amusing to me you know um so i uh, uh, oparna's character was a composite of many things i know that i this is that's another thing the literary <clears throat> conjecture you know so you can have so much ana- so much data so much information but ultimately what is important for a writer is the conjecture that you make is the guess you know yes. with oparna i was confident with oja ayan mani's wife she would be some <clears throat> a person who is a bit like your maid okay i have no idea what goes on in their head you know i don't have information to make a conjecture you know i have very minimal guesses i can make 
chiefly from their cleanliness and some of the things that they've said. Details I have in the sense that, see, I, I have been to the BDD trolls for a long time, you know, but conversations, the kind of conversations I've had with men is very different from the kind of conversations I could have with women. You know, it's hardly, you know, they don't talk to me. <coughs> so that was a technical problem. You know, Operna I could manage. So that is the reason why the point of view, okay, and also not only that, see, even, even superb writers like, say, uh, uh, Anne Tyler, who's an American writer, you know, there are not many people who have read her in India. She's a Pulitzer Prize winning American writer. Uh, she once wrote a novel okay, from the male point of view, okay, which for, by her standards, okay, to me was deeply flawed, okay, because she was writing okay, from the point of view of a man as a woman would think a man is thinking. Like, for example, a guy is really interested in a girl, okay? Her view is so sen sensitive, yeah. you know, and so delicate, yeah. you know? And there is hardly any sex in it, you know, for the first 50 pages, which is absurd, okay? You know, there are, you know, there is a way in which men look, you know, even in women with affection, you know? So then I always realize that, see, there is a, you know, it is, it is a lesson which I think there is in fact an anthology called Imagining the Other, hmm. which has 50% uh, of the stories of men writing from a female huh. perspective. Huh. And I forget the name, but hmm. it's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And all of it is the entire... I think it happens even in Namesake. Yeah. Okay, Jumpal yeah. book. spoke. Where she's, a, she's, a, she's a very good, very efficient writer. But the male point of view is, as I said, first telling you, see, when a guy starts observing our poles tree, yeah. It's a generalization, you know. I know that there are some guys who would definitely know the color of the curtains. I'm not denying it. But you, you know, I find it hard to get into a character who's so, you know, observant of these these details. Yeah. Which is interesting because, in a sense, again, a generalization. What you're saying is that a male novel, a, a male writer's novel, will always be a male novel, and the female writers you. And I, I, I think I, I agree with you. I mean, it may not have occurred to me so clearly before, but never, and I love Jumpa's writing, yes. but never can I forget that I'm re reading a woman writer. Yes. Even as a woman. Yes. And even though I... I, I think I, so. I, yeah. See, men and, men and women are two different species, yeah. you know, almost, yeah. you know. And uh, they're, they're very different. Uh, they, they look at the world very differently. Yeah. And uh, sometimes that is a challenge. I love the female yeah. poly from a second book. You know, the, the, in fact, if it works out the way I want to, nobody would even uh, ever question me on, uh, on the female presence in the novel, you know. But I have to be very careful, okay, because it's, uh, because here it's pure conjecture, you have data, you know. These are people I know very well, okay. But still, if you're wrong with your conjecture, okay, your readers are going to find out, okay, and they're going to say no. Okay, this is not credible. Okay, I, this is not convincing. Okay, I don't feel this is real. I feel I'm reading a novel. The moment a reader feels that, then it's gone. You know, the whole illusion is collapsed, and your 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 novel is destroyed. You know, you're, you know, 